So I would like all of our students in this class, awesome, to come and have a seat on this rainbow colored carpet first. So you can come away from, those things are called foot charts. We're going to use them in a second. You can just sit anywhere, like in, we're going to be in a circle. Any color you want. That's perfect. That's a perfect idea. Good morning. Good morning. Let's start our favorite way. Good morning. Good morning. And how are you today? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's start our Try that with sticks. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time, and if you would like to try to sing along, that would be amazing too. Good morning, good morning. Let's start our favorite way. Good morning, good morning. And how are you today? Good afternoon, good afternoon. Let's start our That's excellent. Now, let's have everyone, I want you to go stand on that chart that has footprints on it, near where your grown-up is. You could stand on your chart. So I want everyone right on the red. Yours are blue. <laughs> All the same. This is rest position. Now we're gonna open them up, zip it open, make a little V, ready, position feet. And then take a step out, play position feet. So you should be on the green, the play position feet. When we play the violin or the viola, it's very important how we stand. You have another green? No, well, no, everybody only has one green. Because oh, we're only going to take a step out with the one side. So you only need one green. I made them all the same. So rest, position, feet. Blue for you, red for everyone else. Rest, position, feet. Yeah, Mike, you got that chart that I made for you. It has your name on it. Rest, position, feet. Ready, position, feet. Open them up. And a little V, you should be on yellow. Red and then yellow. Spread them. Play position feet. Take a step out onto the green. Play position feet. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to see if you guys can do it. We can do it fast. We're going to see if we can do it. Rest position. Your positions. One, two, ready, go. Rest position. Ready position. Play position. Pretty fast. Let's do it again. See if you guys can do it. It's pretty fast. Your positions. 
One, two, ready, go. Rest position. Ready position. Play position. Excellent. You guys are really fast learners. I'm impressed. Okay, I would like to have everyone come back and sit onto the carpet. So we're going to learn about some of the parts of a violin today. This is a violin. And I also have a viola. I didn't bring the cello today. I have a cello that, we, that I'm going to bring to. But... So see how the viola is a little bit bigger than the violin? Yes, the violin. And the viola. So, we're just going to look right now. No touching, just looking. You can't see behind us. Is it pretty? Yeah, This. Is the curly scroll up at the top? On your, I made you guys little pretend violins. We're gonna use some real violins today, but I made you pretend ones. On the pretend ones, the scroll looks like an animal. What animal does it look like? Do you know what animal that is? It's a hedgehog. Yeah, it's a, it is a hedgehog. <laughs> on the pretend violins, the scroll is a hedgehog. But on the real violin. everyone what these things are called? These things that I'm making the noise with. Bees. What is that? Bees. Adeline, what are they called? Strings. They're called the strings. Yes. Strings. This piece of wood under the strings is called the fingerboard. When you play the violin, you put your fingers on the fingerboard. Can I see? This thing is called the bridge. Look, it's like a little mini car could be driving on it. Imagine a little mini car. These things are the sound holes or the F holes where the sound comes out of the box. This thing is called the chin rest or the jaw rest. See how it's up here? So. I want everyone to go back onto your foot chart. We're going to learn how to use the box violins right now. So I need everyone standing in rest. Okay, Grace, can you stand on your chart? Where's your chart? There it is. So we're going to stand right on the chart. I want everyone to raise your hand on this side. It's your left hand. See if you can raise the same hand as me in the air. Everyone got it up there? Now we're going to bend down. Did I do this right? <laughs> when, I, when I was thinking about this, we're going to bend down and scoop up under the pretend violin and put it on your side. Put it on your side like this. Excellent, Soli. Eli, like this on this side. Excellent. on this side. This is the most crafting Miss Shelley will do in a whole year. You want to hold it? Like So, Bean Grace, can you do it on your side? Very nice. I'm not a hedgehog. Callum, can I see your right position? Excellent. Excellent. We call this rest position. Rest position is how we hold a violin or a pretend violin. We call those box violins. When we're not playing, so that we're very careful and it doesn't fall yeah. or get broken, because violins are very delicate. Mm -hmm. And we have to take care of them. Okay, so we're going to listen to the song and then we're going to sing it. Now it's time. 
rest position stop. So the peeking out, since you don't have a bridge on your little box violin, make the eyes peek out so you can see the eyes. So one of the other assignments that's going to be, if you'd like to this week, you can decorate your box finally. You can just take it home. And if you want to draw a bridge on there, you could do that. Or you don't have to. Or if you want to do stickers, you want to put your name on it, you could do whatever you want on your box finally if you want to make it individual. <laughs> but for right now, let's have the eyes peek out. Make the eyes peek out. So the song goes, rest position, feet in a line. Scroll, that's your hedgehog, in front. That's mighty fine. Check your bridge. Cal, make sure your eyes are peeking out. Your frog eyes. Check your bridge, because it should be peeking out at you. Now we learn to take a bow. We're going to take a bow. Sophia Grace, ready? This is what we do at the end. You have to do the bow. Right there. Ichi ni and san is how. That's what we're going to do at the end of a concert. And ichi ni san means one, two, three. Let's play it again. We're going to do play it again. Let's play. <laughs> exactly like what you said. Let's play it again. <laughs> we are going to do it again. I don't know if that's what you said, but we are going to do it again. We're going to do rest position song, and I want you guys to try to sing with me this time. Here we go. Maybe we are going to do it again. Maybe if I can. Demonstrate. Okay, stand so the other children can see. 
He's gonna, we're gonna do it. You have to watch. Can you sit down? So let's see everybody in rest position. So now make sure this is the bridge. We have to make sure the bridge is peeking out. The bridge is very gentle and we don't want to press on it. So everyone in rest position. Let's do the rest position song with the real violin and then we're going to do pop so music. So now I want you to take it and make the scroll point towards that way. Make the scroll point toward that way. The scroll is this thing. Point it down there. Gently. Yes. Where is pointer? Where is pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. So everyone, your pointer finger. Now I want you to take that pointer finger. Let's inch it. Wiggle it, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now it's getting closer and closer to this string right here. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it, ready, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Pop. See if we can do it all together. Let's try to clap together. I'm gonna say one, two, ready, go, clap. And then we're all gonna clap together, here we go. One, two, ready, go, again. One, two, ready, go, clap. Now take your pointer finger, wiggle it, wiggle it. It wants to touch that string. It wants to so badly. Here we go, so badly. One, two, ready, go, clap. Let's do it again. Here we go. One, two, ready, go, clap. <laughs> the hand that's not closest to your violin. <laughs> take your pointer, let's wiggle it. I want you to come whoop and come up from the bottom. Ready? We're finding that E string again. Let's No, you gotta use your pointers. Where's your pointer? So this is your pointer. Where's your other pointer? There you go, you got it. Everyone, come up. Okay, so I'm gonna say one, two, ready, go. And we're gonna pluck together. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. That's our pop. That's our pop. It's a half pop. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's only one time in this version. Let's do it again. Excellent. <laughs> The other person goes to, goes around more times. Here we go. Let's get it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Rest position feet. Ready position feet. Ready. Yellow. Yellow. Play position feet. Green. You want to go on this one, Jay? Sophia Grace, you can go on that one. Play position feet. Now remember when it. Boys, make your hand. Like an alligator mouth. Come around. So it's not the hand that's the closest to your violence. Stick it up in the air first. Left hand, stick it up in the air. You gotta stick it up in the air. You gotta do your way up in the air. Now, make a little alligator hand, little mouth. Now that mouth is gonna come down and chomp right on the violin. Chomp on it. Chomp on it. Here we go. That's your signal. And keep the side of your mind. Your hands. Excellent. Chomp on the side of the violin. There we go. Excellent. Now, watch this. Statue of Liberty. Go back down. So you gotta have the, you gotta have the grip. The, and the alligator mouth has to be holding onto the violin. Get the alligator mouth. Ready? Statue of Liberty! No, you didn't. Yeah. Let's work together, Sophia. Statue of Liberty! Ready? Let's see if we can do it. One. Go back to rest position. Rest position. Here we go. Statue of Liberty! Excellent. Now make your Statue of Liberty point to this corner. Your violin's pointing to this corner. Let me see them. Let me see the face of your violin. Your violin should be looking at me. Excellent. Go back to rest position. Rest. Rest. Come on. Let's Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. I don't know. Rest position. Rest position. Statue of Liberty. And watch this. On your head. <laughs> Go back to Statue of Liberty. Point it to the sky. The bottom to the sky. On your head. <laughs> Let it slide down onto your shoulder. I like where you're going with this. I like where you're going with this. Right. Let's go back to the Statue of Liberty. Liberty! Turn it upside down. So try that again. So flip it that way. On your head. Slide it down. Can I see your... Can you tap on here like this? Can you tap with this hand? Right on that little, see there's a little smile face sticker? Yeah, up and down on the smile face sticker. With that hand. Wiggle that finger. It wants to pluck the string. We're going to try pluck those the weasel. Here we go. I'm going to play it on my violin. It's very big and it has a very low sound. 
It is Fly the Music, and, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. So if you shout encore, they'll play another song. One more song. <laughs> and that would give us great delight before we say a night. Good night. That's pretty fun love. I'm going to demonstrate, and, and I will let a couple of people try this. If you would like to try the ring step, you need to be sitting quietly. You have to be sitting quietly. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Little children want to play. Okay, ready? So hold them still in the beginning. We're going to do it at the end of the song. This is violin. Pay attention. And this is viola. Violin sounded lower. The violin went higher. Yes, the violin was sounded higher than the viola. He loves the violin. The violin sounded higher than the viola. That's exactly correct. 